Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run on a, on a Garden World Nightfall. I think in this run I get about 140, 140 or 41,000, 46,000, something like that. Now we're running on Ox Rider, so we will be using Reed and Flux Chestplate. I'm using Midnight Coup as my primary. I'm using a Void Scout rifle. I'm using the Mananan, but you can use any scout you want as my energy. And I'm using the Thunderlord, because why wouldn't you? As my heavy. Now, for this run, we are running with Oxinge, heavyweight, momentum, and we're running with match game, so all unmatched elemental damage won't do that much, unless you're using the Thunderlord, and it will quite easily take down a shield. You can switch momentum out for something else. Uh, extinguish is a good one. I know some people don't like to use momentum, so Extinguish will give you roughly the same. We've got, I think, a 3.6, 3.7 score modifier. I've put on a 60 power handicap to get that. So right from the start here, this is, as you can see, we've got the Cabal version of this. Now, at some point in this run, I'm going to run out of heavy, simply because... Cabal means solar, and I cannot run all, I couldn't run all elements. So, the Thunderlord will take down a solar shield, but you will burn a lot of, a lot of heavy to do it. But as, as you'll see, and I'll explain when we get there, it's not the end of the world. Because to get heavy, you do have to switch to, to getting primary kills. Primary or energy kills. Heavyweight kills will not generate heavy ammo. The, the lightning effect has done it for me before, but not the actual kills. So, the other thing is, the Arc Strider, we've put that on for ad clearance. Now, I've, I've done a few runs of this. I think the highest I got was 151,000. But as you guys, anybody who's followed the channel knows, I do not like putting on uh, runs that you, that you can get killed doing. I like my runs to be... If I'm going to tell you I'm doing a guide, then it needs to be a guide that's going to keep you alive. That's just, you know, I don't think that I should be putting guides out where I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you do die at this part. So, unless, of course, you will die at that part. <laughs> so, you know, something like Sabbath and Song, the, the double shrieker, you're going to die at that part. So, uh, I did do 151,000. That was the highest I got, but I traded with the boss at the end. And so, you know, there, there's point, there, there, there was additional points to be had. I think the Cabal version is the highest amount of points that you can get. I don't know why. You just get more points for killing Cabal. But like I say, Cabal means solar. So, yeah, I, I, I did put on Arc Strider for, because I was so used to doing the the Vex version. So, and for ad clearance, it's just, it's immense. So, my suggestion is, as you see, I'm going to pop my super here. When you get into the, the forest, don't pop your super after you get halfway, right? Simply because you give yourself uh, leeway to pop your super on all the ads when you come out, if you if, if you want. Now, I always, it was, I was a bit bummed out here because when I popped my super, I was expecting a ton more ads than, than were actually here. So, as you can see... I'm, I've changed changed to the, my, my primary to kill the last couple because I'm not in any danger just to see not only it's not only to get heavy it's to generate orbs you know because orbs mean points and super so the kind of so far what 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 we've decided during this run is keeping on your heavy always lead each section with your heavy just in case it's a section you you need to pop it at Try and leave an ad or two up, you know, or, or no, not so much leave an ad or two up. Uh, try try to kill an ad or two with your primary, just to see if you can generate some heavy. And just, just be mindful of your heavy consumption. Because although the Thunderlord will melt everything in its path, you, you don't want to constantly be running out, because... You want to try and deal the most, not deal, you want to try and accrue the, the most of your points within that 15 minutes because you're accruing them at 100%. After that, you're losing points after the 15 minutes, but you're getting them back at a half rate. 
So you, you take a 50% reduction after the 15 minutes. So the last thing, so the, watch a heavy consumption, lead each section with the Thunder Lord. Don't pop your super after halfway uh, unless, you know, it's it, you have to. And the last part is be mindful for those uh, big Vex eyes. I completely forgot what they're called. Uh, be mindful of those because they can they can attack you from quite far out. The ones at the stairs, the one left and right of the stairs. So be careful that you don't, you know, you don't get yourself into a situation where they can hit you and you're not prepared to hit them back or you're not, you know, in a position to hit them back. Regardless of what what turns up in the infant forest, if you abide by those rules, you should make pretty light work of it. So now that we've come out, as you see, we're I'm not going to keep saying it. It is the, the Cabal version. We're going to have a lot of Cabal. Because I'm dropping heavy, I can I can burn a little bit. You know, and this is why we've put on a, a Void Scout. Because we will deal with a lot more Void than we're going to deal with anything else. Shield-wise. The other thing is, and it's something I say quite a lot, but I'm going to reiterate it. If you're going to get involved in a fight, if you're going to go and engage... Make sure that your health is either back or it's coming. You know, don't don't try and get that final hit because for, for all you know, the hit you take could be the final hit. You know, and if you have, if you're, if you're, a lot of people I know do not like momentum. I do because I like to stay on the move. I like to know that I have a definitive way to get health back. And the definitive way is just to sprint. If I sprint, I get my health. You know, I like that. I like having that absolute. But some people don't like it. If you don't like it, you're going to put on extinguish. That's why I'm saying make sure your health's regenerated before you attack. Because if you've got something on like uh, extinguish, that final hit that you could take could be the end of your run. You're back in orbit. You know, if you haven't got extinguish on, then you know, and you've got momentum or you've got even if you've got something else on, uh, then it's not so much of a big deal. Because if you die, it does put you back a little bit. Uh but it it you don't you you don't get punished totally for dying. It will put you back far enough that you keep points, you keep the points you had and it will put you back with it'll take some of the time off you know, it'll give you some of the time back. So but for the purposes of a guide, I don't think, and I just think it's it's just me, I know it is, I don't think I should be putting out a guide where I'm dying in a guide where you shouldn't die. And if I'm, t if I'm, if someone's teaching you how to do something, if they die while they're doing it, it makes it look like they don't know what they're doing. So, you know, I did do a really good run, as I was saying earlier, 151, but I traded with the boss, and that's, you guys deserve better. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how cheesy that sounded, but uh, something like that. I, I, I don't. I've, I've seen people put guides out where, where they, they actually trade on the fact that they died. Well, you know, I died here. You can die here, and you. Sh I don't think anybody should put a guide out where they, they can't. You know, Sabbath and Song really is the only nightfall where. There is an acceptable death. That for me, that the, no other nightfall in, in Destiny Two has an acceptable death, because the double shriekers, you have to actually make allowances. You have to set your weapons up to deal with that, so that uh, so that you stay alive. And uh, so, if 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 you want to beat it, you know you you have to uh, you want to beat it flawless. I have done it before, actually. It's it's it, it's RNG whether you do it. Anyway, as you can see, we've run out of heavy, and we've run out of heavy simply because solar shields. You know, too much heavy used versus how much, how many enemies were actually fighting, so we never had the opportunity to earn that heavy back. So, I'm trying trying to see if I get some heavy. I didn't. I was getting hit quite hard. My suggestion is if you're doing this and you get hit as hard as I was getting hit or you lose heavy where I was losing it, just come up to where I am now. 
you've got your your void you've got your void energy so that there there is a there is a minotaur here i would i would i would uh, suggest taking him out as you can see i'm pretty close but that's the beauty of this place right here is you've got cover to run over and get your health back if you if you're using momentum if you're not you still have cover and you will 95% of the time you'll have that odd time i suspect where you don't but 95% of the time regardless if it's the vex or it's the cabal version you will drop heavy here so what i'm going to do is we really want to go and collect heavy we want to kill us you still want to get points so I am going to burn quite a bit of my, my energy ammo to kill this guy so I can safely go over. And as you can see, you will take his shield down. Now it's not as quick as it would be if it was a solar weapon, but it's actually pretty good. And he's gone. So now I can go and I can see what kind of heavy ammo we got. We got a brick. And that is enough. That's enough to be getting on with. So this next section, if you've done the Vex version, you should be pretty good for heavy at this this moment. There will be two Minotaurs. Now, because we're doing the, the, the Cabal version, the way, no, if you're doing the Vex version, there will be one. As you can see, I, I took that, that, high, that, that Minotaur down and then killed him with my energy and got heavy from him. So we're going to go over here, get this heavy. As I was saying, if, if if it's the Vex version you're doing, there'll be two Minotaurs that'll pop out there, two orange bar Minotaurs. My suggestion for you is take the one at the back first. Because if you if you don't, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's just efficiency. He will run away and hide. So if you take him first, he can't hide. And the one that pops out in front of him, he will stay in an attackable position. So we're doing okay. We will, you know, Vex... It doesn't matter which version we're doing, Vex or Cabal, this is where I'll come. And you can take you can attack all the ads. As you can see, easy. Now we'll just smash that. Have a look, see if we've got any heavy ammo lying about. No heavy. Move on. So the way I kind of judge my run is you can see there we're at eleven minutes fifty and I've got a hundred and a uh, hundred and thirteen. So I kind of judge it, the numbers on basically very close to 10,000 a minute. So if I'm if I've got 15 minutes in my head, it kind of it kind of it doesn't follow that route all the way through, but right up until about 13 minutes, I'm expecting at 13 minutes to have 130,000, you know? Definitely up until 10 minutes, that's the way I would look at it. So if you've been four and a half minutes in the infinite forest, you want to come out there with 40,000. So it won't carry on like that, as I've said, but it's a it's a nice use just use it as a guide. Just use that as a score guide. It's not infallible. It's just a good way for me, you know, um I don't know if I've got enough points. Am I doing you know, have I got enough to get the high score? Well just judge on that. You know, especially infinite forest right up until this next part. Now as I say as I said earlier, uh my highest that I've done is hundred and fifty one. So that, 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 there is the capability to do that. So now that we've got to this section, I kind of, I've got a couple of different ways I do this. But this way, I think I'm just going to clear everything and then go and attack the boss. So I'm going to use my, my Thunderlord. As long as, you, as long as you get that, you won't expel a lot of ammo if you do hit at least a crit. Now we did there because it's not a precision weapon. But, uh, and the other thing, if you see you've got heavy ammo on the floor, then you, you, you can burn a bit because you've got something to pick up, especially if you, you know, that's kind of when, when you see me burn heavy, you'll know that I'll have some on the floor somewhere. I've noticed it or I, I'm anticipating, I'm anticipating getting heavy and now I'm up to full complement. So once I've cleared all those, the snipers, the, 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 the harpies, I'll pop, I'll pop my super. This is one of the places you will always pop a super. And then we'll make our way back past the Minotaurs. Take out as many unshielded Vex as you can. Goblins. 
and we've got a lot of heavy line about now as you can see i mean although match games on supers supers and the thunderlord don't really adhere to that you know stringently it's not like you can never take another shield down so we know we've got some heavy and we're good we're being encroached so we know we can burn a little bit of heavy but we were being pushed there by that minotaur and that's the if you are getting pushed don't hesitate just to run back now you will drop heavy at the end you don't want to rely on that you don't want to rely on dropping heavy at the boss but you know what's going to happen so you don't have to go into the boss section with you know 220 rounds which is the max you can hold in the thunderlord now we've 141,000 we don't need to take this last section but we're gonna <laughs> i done it i i i done it to show the Thunderlord taking down a, a Void Shield. That was that was the main part. But because it's a score run and because I looked at the time, you know, I, I wanted the Hydra. That was what I wanted because the Hydra's, you know, it's, Hydra's probably the highest scoring thing you can do in a Vex, a Vex round. It's one of, the high, one of the ones that'll give you the highest score. You know, and I... I just, I got a little bit greedy. Now, my suggestion for, and it's, I'm saying this because some people might just might not know. When a Minotaur is pushing you, don't just keep firing. And there is the Crotheon, which he is the taken, he is the, the taken enemy, the, the wanted enemy, the taken. The wanted enemy in this strike is Crotheon. And now we're just going to wait for the Hydra. Now, as you can see, we've got 94 rounds. We've burnt a little bit there. I'm going to go down and see if anybody dropped any. I don't think they did. We've got 145,000 points. Now, as you can see, because we're under the 15-minute mark, we're losing points all the time. So, we, could, we can melt the boss, but we've still got two... You still got two minutes, a minute and a minute and fifteen seconds, so we're still going to try and get a bit more score. So go to this minotaur. Now you're not invulnerable. I repeat, you cannot hide in its side here and not take any damage. So use the leg as as your as your cover. But when he goes, you are invulnerable. So. Stay here, clear out your ads, you've got your super, and it's easy from this point on. It is very easy. Once you get up here, come to the, the, the leg right in front of him, get some shots off. As you can see, he's, he's not got a lot left. Get some shots off at the leg and then go round to the other side. So you're, you're at the front of him, so you the minotaur is between you and the boss. Get some shots off, get that boss moving. And then as he's moving, follow him round so that you're behind him so that it's between you and the ads. Give do do more damage to the boss. Take out the ads, do a bit more damage to the boss, and then when the shields for the other minute the minotaurs come up, pop your super take down the first box, then pop your super. Okay? And we're gonna you know we'll use that we're super. To kill the one vex, the one uh, minotaur that we want dead, and clear all the ads. Then what you're left with is one minotaur that's shielded. You pop the box and then run round to the opposite direction because the minotaur will chase you, right? And we're not bothered about that. We just want to put some distance between us, and then melt the boss. Now, if you do it fast enough. If you kill the Minotaur, he adds to your points, but I didn't do it fast enough. And there you go, guys. 144,531. Very simple run on how we do this. Uh, I hope it helps you guys. I hope you enjoyed the run. Hopefully, right after this run, I'm going to put the Tree of Probabilities up. And then tomorrow, I will put up the Lake of Shadows. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Always appreciate all your views and comments. Take it easy. 
and I'll see you in the next one.